you for being here. All right, well, I'm not doing the show by myself, so we're going to introduce some lovely ladies. First up, you know her, you love her, Elise Willems! <laughs> more moves, more so moves. so much space. I know. Do you, do you want Anywhere you'd like. Next up, the one, the only, Fiona Nova! Do some moves, do some moves. Do the kicks. <laughs> We're gonna get more cheers for that, come on! And last, but certainly not least, it's her, Mariel Salcedo! I can't do a thing, I've got too many things in my... <laughs> do you need help? Can Maybe just, if you drop it. Can I just sit on your lap? Is that okay? Oh, absolutely. All right. We all agreed backstage okay, well, to do roundhouse didn't kicks. Do <laughs> didn't follow oh, through with your I didn't promise. hear about the roundhouse I was kicks. The only one. We each need to now go down and do roundhouse kicks. You know how to do what? I don't. <laughs> oh, oh, I really thought you did. Elise came out and did a roundhouse or well, oh, cool. a loose roundhouse kick. The idea of roundhouse kicks. Is that, kick. yeah, I didn't This know. feels better, okay. I think. Um, <laughs> yeah. You've got your shit everywhere. What's going on? Okay. Now I can see everyone. Yeah. Right out. That's why I, I like spread. Sitting I always spread like that. Yeah, we got a man spread. Of course. Yeah, Fiona. You got to do the Fiona. <laughs> I can't do that or else this would be a different show. My feet don't touch the ground. So <laughs> I got to. <laughs> you are the cute. You're so cute. You I love it. I made to introduce her as Tubbs. <laughs> Tubbs. <laughs> what? I wish I should do next time. Right. Yeah. Well, love welcome, it. guys. Always open at RTX 2023. Woo! Who's a uh, who's first RTX is it? Holy wow. shit! Oh, that's Where the hell have you guys been? <laughs> who's been here before? Okay, oh, that's yeah. also a lot. That's also <laughs> Meryl. <laughs> oh me, yeah, yeah. Both of us. Think <laughs> both of us. You. A few times. A few times. You. you? Every single one. Okay. Really. Yeah. Every single RTX, even the international ones, the first ever one, all of them. Wow. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> So if we were to put a number on it, it would be... 69. 69. Nice. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Who, uh, who traveled from the furthest? Who are we thinking? Canada? Okay. We've got some Canadians. Mexico? Obviously my parents. Canadians. Hello. My parents are here. Front row. Australia. Australia? We've got some Australia. Wow. Wow. New Zealand? Did I, see, did I hear a Houston? <laughs> <laughs> Good, good answer. I drove two hours. Hey, yeah, that's pretty Houston long. Houston traffic, especially if they left like during the day. That's a yeah. rough car. Yeah. Might as well go to Europe. Might as well. <laughs> that's true. All right. <laughs> that's, that's well, uh, we're, we're going to kick off the show with one of my favorite segments on Always Open, mm -hmm. which is Cheers to That, uh, where we each talk about something positive that's happened in our life recently, not so recently. Anything you'd like to talk about? Uh, okay. Just so we could all celebrate some uh, little or big achievements. Well, well would you like to start? <laughs> so many accomplished women in our midst and uh, oh, yeah, a single thing. Yeah. Uh, you said it doesn't have to be recent? It, anything, yeah. Like, what's the timeline? Is it like two weeks ago or like... <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm making no this rules. a whole thing. I just... In the last year, let's say. Okay. Aww. Yeah. I, you want to go, Mariel? <laughs> Who are Jeff you with? Oh, okay. oh, Jeff Yetter. Jeff Yetter. I thought you were waving at a ghost. My best friend, Jeff Yetter. I was like, oh, I thought oh, what's you happening? really wanted to answer. Oh, no, no, no. I don't. Uh, year, I don't know. Uh, there's lots of good things that have happened in my life. But I mean, I got married like, over a year ago. Well, that's huge. There's my lovely oh. wife. Hi. Front row. Special lovely privileges Hannah. if you get married to me. <laughs> Front Here's row at the always <laughs> open panel. <laughs> Hell yeah. You, you locked down that seat? Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Right. It's Mariel's wife on there. Earlier today, Good. Michael Jones called me a Nepo baby <laughs> because James worked at the company before I did. Oh. Right. <laughs> That's true. Right. So is, is Trevor a Nepo baby even though we weren't dating when he started working at the company? Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Trevor, if you're out there, you're my Nepo baby. Amazing. He's not here. We would, we would hear him. <laughs> I would have caught him a mile away. 
he walks like this. But yeah. <laughs> Cheers to that, Mario. Cheers to that. Cheers yeah. to that. To some Cheers. queer love yeah. in 2023 in Texas. Yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fiona, what you got? You go. <laughs> I, you're you're always doing something amazing. Oh, um, stop I, like, flirting with me. <laughs> no, it's impossible. I impossible. won't. Uh, I feel like life is just good. It feels peaceful and nice. But within the last year, James and I did adopt a new dog, Remy, yeah. who we love so much, and he's like such a good boy. And I wish I was with him right now. And not on this stage without him. And Do I'm you want kidding. me to like bark like a dog? Would that make you <laughs> yeah, feel actually, more? Yeah, actually, that's home? maybe like that's what eyes. you're asking. That's what you're asking. Ruff, 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 ruff. Really? <laughs> you can do better than that. I don't know. How, what does your dog sound like? He doesn't really bark too much, oh. but he he is like we call him Piggy sometimes because if you get him riled up and playing, he's like, or like oh, that's like, like a, yeah, he's, a, he's, a he's oinker. like a oinker. Yeah. He's an oh. oinker. Well, cheers um, to that. Cheers to that. Cheers to that. Love that. I guess it is my turn. Yeah. Um, yeah, I feel like I did a lot this year. Uh, a lot of ups and downs, but I do think right now we're on, a, we're on an up here, which is great. Waiting for that crash, but that's my <laughs> mental illness to deal with. Um, I am, so I'm growing up here. Uh, I've directed a lot of music videos this past year, which is... Yeah, going full-time directing, which is huge for me. Yeah. I love that not being on camera as much. Sorry about this. I love this though. This is great for my <laughs> ego. You You're know? on multiple cameras. I right feel now. like it's great now. Like I get my fill and then I'm like, get me out of here. Yeah. I'm good. <laughs> but yeah, no, it's been great. And honestly, this is a really huge highlight. I love coming to RTX and like seeing everyone and see, like hearing how amazing or like hearing how much I impacted people's lives. Cause I don't, I don't know what I do. <laughs> I get on, I'm like, duh, 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 and then it's like, <laughs> Right. So, um, yeah. No. So, cheers to that. Cheers to cheers that. To that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. My cheers to that is going to be small, but I made it to 34. Yeah. That is not small. And uh, my body immediately shut down. <laughs> yeah. What happened? I heard a slip disc. I did a deadlift on Tuesday. Oish. Always check your form before you do a deadlift. What are you deadlifting these days? Uh, it's hard. It's I'm on the tonal now, so it's uh, like a, a machine that yeah. like it's not equivalent to the weights. Okay, oh. but it was like about a hundred pounds on on tonal, which is equivalent of four thousand pounds. Yeah, uh, that thing's rough. Human weights. You weight. really want to say how much you deadlift? No. Okay. Yeah, no, I just got that vibe that no. you really want to let no. us know. How much you like to grow? Can I ask? <laughs> Can I ask how mm, we like want to know? Okay. Ooh. Wow. Two two five. Two two huh? Two hundred twenty five. Two hundred two hundred and twenty five. Jesus. Wow. Would anyone like to be deadlifted? <laughs> oh, wow. Look at that. Those hands went up so fast. I, I mean, it was like, uh, it was immediate. Did you guys see all the buff people walking around Austin the last couple of days? That's oh, yeah. Something. Those are me and my friends. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to get that. There's something going on. There's some kind of other What's going on? What's in the water? With strong guys or something. And oh. James is like, I'm at the wrong convention. <laughs> I was like, get That's back funny. here. But yeah, he's like super envious seeing all these people. All of a sudden, Blaine, James, and Michael are nowhere to be found yeah. for the rest of the weekend. So. <laughs> Me too. Me too. And, yeah, yeah, and Blaine, Mariel, James, Mariel, Mariel Michael. Yeah. Yep. Well, we also want to get some cheers to that from you guys. If anyone has like something positive, big or small, we got some mics. We got uh, some mics in the audience. If you want to raise your hand, we'll, we'll run over to you guys, get some cheers. All right. We're going to go to right over here first. Hi. Um, I'm Megan. Megan. Uh, something uh, good. Um, a short film I co-produced and uh, starred in won an award for best LGBTQ plus film. Woo! Oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> That's huge. Are you yeah. kidding me? <laughs> That's Cheers. awesome. I love that. Oh, cheers huge. to that. Hell cheers yeah. to that. That's huge. amazing. <laughs> All right. Got one over there. Hi, I'm Anthony. Hi, Anthony. Uh, this is my boyfriend, Evan. Hi, Evan. And we've been dating for a long time. And this is our first time meeting each other in person. Oh, oh my yeah. God. Cheers yeah. to that. Wait, can you guys stand up? Congratulations. Yeah. And let's oh. We love that. And can it's you? our first RTX. Yeah. Double cheers to what? that. Where are you oh, from? Yeah. Uh, I'm from Arizona. He's from… I'm from Florida. 
All right. Love uh, it. Uh, cheers Meeting to up that. in Texas. Two hot states in another state. To the, to the two hottest hot states. states. <laughs> to the hottest states. <laughs> to the hottest states. <laughs> Fighting <laughs> to the death. <laughs> right. No, don't do that. Mm. I was All just right. joking. Got one over here in the red. If we could get to you. Hi. Hi, my name is Kristen. I just started my first big girl job like two months ago. So I actually have like insurance now and like I can probably buy a house now. Oh shit, okay. Damn, where are you working? So, uh, Huge. Work for a chemical plant. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, what? Yeah. Well, congrats. Cheers to that. Cheers to that. We love insurance. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's that's You can buy best. a house in this economy. Are you kidding me? Like maybe you fall into a vat, get superpowers. It's only going up. <laughs> The new Harley <laughs> Quinn over here. Are y'all right, hiring? Right. <laughs> Are we there? All right. Oh, me? Yes. Oh, hey. Uh, my name is Ronnie. Um, I recently got promoted in my new job, which I worked in like construction contractor. Hey! Uh, to the mask lesbian stereotype. Fuck you! Yeah! Let's go. Also Mexican. I love you, Meryl. That's amazing. Yeah. Also gonna hit two years with my girlfriend, which is like seven years. So hell yeah. Yeah. That is, hell yeah. That's cheers basically that. seven years. Good. Cheers to that. We amazing. love construction yeah. dykes. Yeah. Right. We do. We do. <laughs> All right, back here. Go for it. Um, hi. I'm hi. Fine. Um, and I've been making friendship bracelets for everybody and yes, just getting to see the reactions. The vibes have been awesome. Mariel, if you want one, I have yes, one. Yes, can I please have one? Yes. Can I have it now? Do you have one now? <laughs> yes. I literally was just saying to uh, Fiona and uh, Elise backstage that they look like they went to a Taylor Swift concert because right, they both right. have these friendship bracelets. Oh, yeah, bracelets. and I'm going to oh, wear You guys do. Everyone has one but me. One of my bracelets says oh. Barbenheimer. Oh, shit. Oh, that's good. That's I'm, I'm celebrating it. That that's good. <laughs> Do you want to bring them up now? Do you have some? Feel free to come on up. Fuck yes. Meryl needs her bracelets. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, they're for, they're for these. But yeah, uh, also like guys, if this is your first time here or even not, like Thank make friends, so talk to people online, Thank talk you. to people at panels. Everyone is like the nicest person at RTX. So make some friends, get some friendship bracelets. Go see this lovely lady to get a bracelet. Steal them all. <laughs> all right. We got Mike over somewhere. You got you. Feel free to pick. We got Christian and Kat in the audience. They produce always open. By They're, the way, give them yeah. a shout out. Thanks, guys. Me or her? Okay. Hi. 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 My name is AJ. Hi, AJ. Uh, this is my first RTX, and <laughs> tomorrow I am going to be cosplaying Mithra from Xenoblade Chronicles Two, which is going to be my first cosplay as an out trans woman. Woo! All right. Woo! Cheers to that! Cheers to that! Can't Hell wait to yeah. see it. Absolutely. That's amazing. Amazing. Hell yeah for cosplayers too. Got any cosplayers in the audience right now? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Cheers to that. Cheers to that. Mm -hmm. All right, we'll do a couple more. Right over here. Hi. Hi, y'all. Uh, my name is Brandy, and it's. Um, my cheers to that is not actually for myself. It's for my husband. He is one of the guardians, and it's his 36th birthday tomorrow. Oh, wow. Aww. Cheers to that. Cheers to that. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. We'll have to find him and give him a happy birthday. Happy birthday. It's his, all about those cancer babies, am I right? What's Ooh, his name? Let's go. We got some cancer babies in the chat. You know what, Brandon, he's Brandon? on the tech team. Okay, Brandon on the tech team. We'll make sure to find him tomorrow for happy birthday. Great. Love it. All right, over here. Hi. Hi. Hello. I'm Taryn. Uh, and I did buy a house this year. Yeah. That's really big. I That's just celebrated huge. my 26th birthday. And Woo. I got two cats. Yeah. All right. Cheers to that. Yeah. Big year. Yeah. You are living Damn. a life. Owning a house at 26. Yeah. What? In this That's, economy? It's quite the economy. Not happening for me. All right. We'll do two more. One back there. Hi. Hi. Um, my name is Keith, and my cat survived a five-month-long battle with um, liver cancer this year. <gasps> oh, I'm so sorry. So. Yeah. Well, survive. Well, survive. survive. He's good. He's oh, great. Okay. <laughs> Everything is great. But was it was like, a lot that he I lived. Was <laughs> happy. I was like, well, I don't think I should cheers to that. Survive. It's definitely that's a cheer because he lived. Hell yeah. That's, yeah, that's, that's a cheers to I'm that. But I'm so for sorry sure. you had to deal with that. That's yeah, awful. that is definitely traumatic. <laughs> All right, we'll, do, we'll take one more. Cat, pick wisely. 
Hey, how's it going? Oh, we'll do two more after oh, you. We got two more. Okay. Yes. Uh, right. Back here. My name is oh, Andrew. Yeah, we'll do the back. Yeah, and yeah, then, yeah, yeah, and yeah, then yeah. you. I okay. see you. Yep. Uh, this is my first RTX as well. Woo! Amazing. And uh, nothing new that anyone else hasn't said, but um, I'd say I'm in a very good position to get approved for a mortgage that I applied for. Hell yeah. And I also totally paid off my car payment. What? <laughs> oh my God. Cheers to that. Cheers to that. It is so funny being at RTX throughout all of the years and like being here as like a 31 year old millennial and people are like, yeah, I bought a car, bought a house. It's like, what? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The oh, cheers to that used together. to be, I don't know, ate a slice of pizza. Yeah. Like, Right. Which is a deserved cheers to that. Absolutely. I, will say. I, yeah. I mean, earlier. sometimes the cheers to that is just you're, you keep on going, you're yeah. surviving, and that's enough. And that's really great. Exactly. Yeah. Celebrate Incredible. those small victories. Yeah. Absolutely. All right. Last but not least. <laughs> hi. Uh, hi. Um, my girlfriend and I, of three and a half years, are moving in together at the <laughs> apartment this week. Huge. <laughs> Huge. Three and a half moves. years. I'm surprised it took you three years. Yeah, I mean, what took yeah, you so long? <laughs> right. Honestly, that's amazing. Very healthy of you. <laughs> was that a twing of envy in your voice there, Fiona? Well, it's mainly because I would move in in like six months. Yeah. <laughs> and then yeah. it all goes out from how, there. How, how soon did uh, you and Hannah start living together? What was it? We met, we met actually, funny story, we met right after the last RTX that I went to, which was July 2019. Yeah. Wait, okay, wait. I remember, oh my God, wait, I remember because... Yeah, you were like, this is my hot girl single summer. Yeah. And you were ready to party. Yep. And, then you met, and then I met my wife. Like, and then, I mean, met her at the perfect time. And then it, I mean, I didn't hear from you. I was finally ready to spread my wings. Yeah, you were. You and were ready. And then they just got clipped off in the name of love. That was amazing. Then you met the love of your life. Yeah. Um, let's see. So we met in July, started officially dating in August. And I think she moved in probably July 29th. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, really? Pretty, pretty yeah, good. No, it was it was fast. It was very fast. But I think that's great. And then, uh, well, technically, I feel like we both count it from when the cat moved in because she moved in first. Mm. And then the cat was mm. like, still like, I don't trust you. I don't know you. Mm, like, mm -hmm. let me. And now she's our cat. So she's amazing. Uh, that's amazing. But yeah, it was very, very fast. Yeah. Uh, so three years. That's a long time. Three years is like, I, I just think it's like a good... Healthy amount. Absolutely. <laughs> I just like you're taking your time. Yeah. You're yeah getting yeah. to know the person. How but I also it? respect that because I, because that's mean, what I would do. Yeah. Like everything you're saying is like something I want to do. Yeah. It was just like we met and it was like, all right. Yeah. This is it. This yeah. is it. Good. Let's go. But I do like that the cat was the ultimate barometer. That's, I know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Cashew the cat. She was very like. Cashew. I don't know yet. The fact that you didn't call her cat chew makes cat chew. me no. mad. Cashew Marie Jones. <laughs> All right. How long did it take you and James to move in together, Elise? I mean, our situation was different yeah, because we were long distance for so long. Mm. So Canada we, to LA? Yeah. Or? So we like spent a lot of time where I would just come to LA for a really long time. So it's, it's hard to quantify that exactly. Yeah. I assume when you moved to LA, you moved in with him. Yeah. Yeah. But we still had roommates as well. Oh. Too, which was like one of those things where it was like, it was fun, but then eventually you think, okay, we have to live on our own. Right. Though during the pandemic, I did miss living with, I was envious of everybody that I knew that had, you know, two roommates and they were doing all these board game nights and stuff. And I'm like, James, we need to live with people. Like, <laughs> I, we can't just be the two of us. Yeah. And then the pandemic ended and we were like, fuck that. <laughs> Get away from us. <laughs> I know I was so jealous of all the people who like they develop these bubbles of friendships yes. and stuff like that. Like, oh, we'll hang out with this group of friends and like not see anyone else. Trevor and I didn't really do that. And so we hung out with a couple people like six feet apart in a park yeah. on like those like fold Aww. out camping chairs. And we're like, this is weird and not fun. But humans. I was I was talking to I was talking to Griff about it yesterday because I was like, there was a moment where I could take the tequila shots and now I can't take the tequila shots. And I was like, I know where the moment is. It was because during the pandemic we had our pod. Yeah. And it was just, I mean, we were just partying oh my God. In, in like a room. 
And it was just our pot. And then I was like, that was the moment when I realized my body couldn't handle the tequila shot anymore. Oh, no. It was like, that's it. So I no should have been living with the lesbians. Oh, my God. At least <laughs> at least we would have so had upset. a blast. I know. Oh my I God. mean, a blast. Yeah. <laughs> it would have been great. Is that like the new dream blunt rotation? It's the new like <laughs> pandemic bubble. Yeah. The panda. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who would be in your bubble? Yeah, right. Um, it was fun. All right. Well, cheers to that, guys. Thank you cheers so much like, for sharing all of that. That was amazing. We love celebrating, y'all. All right. Now I want to play another little game with, with everybody here on stage. It's a game called Most Likely To, mm. where I'm going to give us a prompt, and we have to point to the person most likely to do said thing. Okay. And if you guys disagree, we'll f I'm sure we'll find out. <laughs> all right. Out of all four of us, who was most likely to give their kid a terrible name? <laughs> Me? <laughs> Me? I'm not the only one pointing at you. <laughs> Why me? Wait, now, yeah, I'm confused. Because I feel like, not a terrible name, but a unique name, I would say. <laughs> but bad. <laughs> okay, well, now, hang on. You see, those are two different things. Terrible <laughs> okay, and okay. unique. I, I don't know. Why terrible? Because... Is it because I wouldn't take it seriously? Yeah, yeah you is think that it's what like you're a saying? goof. Yeah I, look, yeah, I look at the kid, I'm like, you're not real. <laughs> 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 you're not real, and I'm going to make your life a living hell. Yeah. No, come on. Are you well, joking? I don't know. My mind just immediately went to like Trogdor. Like that's, you would be like yeah. my baby. Yeah. Have you what? ever had animals? Dog. I've had animals. What I are their a names? Dog. A dog, uh, my dog Suki. Suki. Oh, that's a good yeah. name. Yeah. And that's then my next dog's dog is going to be named uh, Pesto. Okay. I stand by my decision. <laughs> <laughs> Unreal, right. guys. Unacceptable. Little Pesto is going to get the shit bullied Dude, out of I him. love, but imagine me like, Pesto, where are you? <laughs> guys, you guys don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. All right. Who is most likely to believe in conspiracy theories? <laughs> now, yeah. Do you consider yourself a gu gullible person? I, yes, actually. Yes. I'm going to answer that. I, I get. <laughs> I, I, because I, feel I don't like know if gullible is the right word. I think it's more trusting. You want to believe. I want to you believe. You want to believe. Yeah. Because they believe in you. I, I talked about this on an episode of Always Open that hasn't come out yet. Uh, we talk about the Britney Spears conspiracy theory. Does anybody know about this? How, like, there's something going on with Britney Spears. How, like, people think... Oh, I'm getting confused with that and the Lindsay Lo... No, or Avril Lavigne one. Yeah, there's an Avril Lavigne one where she... Like, there's a doppelganger. Like, she died years ago and yeah. is right, pretending right, to be right. her. Yeah. I don't believe them. I think they're just interesting. Fun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gullible. Yeah. Aw, that's cute. <laughs> I think it's cute. <laughs> Most likely to become a CEO. Yeah. There we go. I think Gun so. manufacturing. I think so, for sure. <laughs> you, yeah, you're just fucking smart. It's on the list of things to accomplish one day. You know? You'll get it. Yeah. You know. It'll happen. I don't have any drive anymore. I just want to hang out. Yeah. Wanna, that's, like, that's the vibe I want to be at right now. Yeah, you know. Just want to hang. Just want to hang. Yeah. I don't want to work hard. <laughs> I don't want to work. I love this one. Right. Most likely to accidentally call their manager mom or dad. I don't, that's a tough one. Ma <laughs> Why me? Why <laughs> would I call? Maybe? You've got a mommy kink. I feel like you'd probably oh, be calling okay. people mommy. I, I changed my answer. Not have a, I have a mommy <laughs> issues. <laughs> I have mommy issues. I don't know if I have a mommy kink. Did you guys ever do that in school? Call your teacher, mom or dad accidentally? I, I did. I did. Probably, yeah. Yeah. I'd be like, so. mom, I mean, uh, mommy, I mean. <laughs> mom, mommy. Mom, 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 damn it. <laughs> sorry, mommy. Sorry, mommy, sorry, shit. Mommy, sorry. Most likely to sign up to be a contestant on The Bachelor. Back in the day, yes, I would have said you 100%. Why? <laughs> Why? I was just thinking everybody's in relationships and you were in a well, I am. Okay, never mind. I have my girlfriend here. Barbin, Guys, yeah. cheers to that. Yeah, cheers <laughs> to that. I used to think it would be amazing to be on The Bachelorette as The Bachelorette because then mm -hmm. you'd have like 25 guys like vying for your attention. And I thought when I was single, that'd be pretty cool. Would you take it seriously where you really want to get love out of it or you just want the experience of this is a weird thing to do? I would try to get love, I think. 
but I don't know. Aww. It seems like a lot of people go on those shows just to like become an influencer. Yeah, for like sure. That now. I don't know. I love reality TV though. It's been, it's, you know, I used to be like, oh, and then I got into it and I'm like, yes, I'm like too hot to handle. Are you joking? <laughs> Wait, wait, it's prime TV. <laughs> Have y'all seen the queer ultimatum? Oh, don't even talk to me about that. Is don't a masterclass talk. in some toxic. Have you seen lesbian. the reunion? Yes, oh. they're all horrible but people. All <laughs> awful. They're all Every awful. Single one, except Mal. The ultimatum. Oh, that was okay. If I'm not mistaken, is a show where couples come on a show that are like either we're gonna get married or we're gonna break up. Yep. Yeah. And they go on a show basically and like date everybody on the yes. show. Yeah, but the thing is with lesbians, they fall in love in less than 24 hours. Oh, yeah. With anyone they talk to. <laughs> so it's like, so it was the messiest. Oh, it was so good. But man, they were awful. Yeah. Has anyone made the show yet where you're just auditioning for a friend? Like, because I really oh. want that where it's like. Wait, what do you mean? Like, for example. I at least go on a show and I'm like, I'm Elise and I'm looking for a new best friend. And there are 20 people vying to be my best friend. But because I feel like that hurts more because if somebody doesn't want like you, we can't, I can't be your friend anymore. Yeah. yeah. Like, like, if, no, like it's like new people who are trying to win me over. Yeah. And if I do, I feel like it feels more personal if someone's like, I'm sorry, you're just not friend material. I think you're on to something. Like I want that show That's or old true. people falling in love. Well, there was supposed to be like an older bachelor. That's right. I think there's still like, I feel like I saw a commercial for it recently. Have you guys seen MILF Manor? No. Yes. Really enthusiastic yeah. response. Oh, right? no. I mean, well, okay. That show is also, in, that show is insane. Is it just a house full of MILF? So, okay. Get this. MILF Manor. It's a show full, like, uh, yeah, there are a bunch of MILFs and you know, it's like a dating show. So there's got to be... Barbara, for those in the audience, please explain what MILF is in case they don't know. MILF, for those who have not lived in the last 20 years, uh, <laughs> means mother I would like to fuck. Um, <laughs> it usually means like an attractive older woman. Uh, so it's a bunch of MILFs on the show who are into younger men and all the contestants on the show. Well, well, hang on. That, that is the craziest twist of them all. Yeah. They're, not, they're not just MILFs. They're, they're, they're moms... Yes. Their moms and their <gasps> sons are in the dating pool. Oh, no. Wait. So they have to date their, like, each other's sons. Yeah. So, like. Oh, uh, so it's not just young dudes. It's, no, it's not like, just random young dudes. It's their sons. Damn. The, yeah. So they're, like, flirting and, like, making out with boys. Up. And the, the woman's like, that's my son. Go get him. Go get him. Go get him. It is. It, and, and the age gaps on some of them were atrocious. It was like 35 plus. Like, yeah. April. Like a, April um, I know them by name. April was, I think, 56. I only saw two episodes. So. Oh, I watched the whole thing, Barbara. You <laughs> cannot be talking about this. I, I'm traumatized. I watched the whole thing. Uh, April, who's 56, um, starts dating this 23-year-old. Uh-huh. What? Like, what was going on there? I have no idea. And then that was the, that was the, s I don't want to talk about it anymore. <laughs> I mean, I got a thing for moms, but I wouldn't want to date my mom's friends. I don't think. No. Well, they're, they're, yeah, they're all each other's sons. Like, yeah. Uh, like, yeah. And, and they were like, there was like this game that they did in the middle of it where they, uh, all the, all the sons were shirtless and the moms have to touch. Shut up. Um, no. I'm, yeah, I'm for had, real. They had to like identify which one was their Who son. Who was their son by touching their abs? <laughs> Those are, that's just, there was an underwear. There is something kill, wrong with America. Kill me. It was awful. No. Oh, and they were massaging them, right? The sons had to guess There was a massage which, one too. The sons were massaging the women. Oh my God. What do we, why do we do this to ourselves? <laughs> All right. Next you question, asked. Like you to asked. Go on a MILF Manor. Me. Absolutely. <laughs> Wait, you did what? Wait, what was the question? I was joking. <laughs> oh, oh, we okay. go on Milf Manor? Yeah. We were single? Yeah. I mean, I just, I just think there's a weird power thing with these guys being so young. Yeah. You know? <laughs> I don't know. It's insane. I'd hang out with some moms. But right. I do want season two. <laughs> <laughs> I do want to see it again. This one's an easy one. Most likely to cry at a sad movie. 
Oh, yeah. come on. I was actually going to point to you. Really? I've gone to a lot of therapy and I'm on a good amount of Prozac. I don't cry that much anymore. <laughs> really? <laughs> mm. We did we did a video a few years ago with Mariel where each of us came with a video to try to see who can make Mariel cry the most. Yep. Aww. That's awful. Which I feel in hindsight is <laughs> a really evil thing for us to have done. Evil. It was sweet. I mean, it was all things that were like, I'm trying to think. It's oh. like a commercial where a, a, someone goes to visit their aged parent. Yeah. Know? It's always like older people get me really sad, like mm -hmm. reunion videos, uh, especially if it's like a pet, a, like a, a dog, dog yeah. like seeing it's like owner that a it has soldier a soldier return. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think what they were. Cause I remember it was like, it was you, I think Jessica Vasami, Ashley, Ashley Jenkins. Yeah. I don't remember what it was, but they got me. Yeah. I, I think we've reversed roles. Cause now I cry at literally everything. <laughs> I just, I thought you, you cried. I do cry. You are a cancer. I know. You're very, I, if I yeah, try to explain something that made me cry, I oh, will start crying. No, I know. Like it's at that oh, point now. I can't look at you cry because it makes me too sad. Should I make myself cry <laughs> now? Don't do that. No. No, Barbara. You're crying Don't face. do that. <laughs> Don't do that. All right. Oh, we got two more. Okay. Most likely to fake their own death. Oh. Yeah, you would for a yeah. bit. You would for a bit. Yeah. For a bit. And also just, just to get away just from it all. <laughs> what are you escaping, Elise? I think it's like you say the on-camera stuff. Like, yeah, yeah. I think it's like, you know, I, I'll get to a point where I'm like, I just want to be alone. Imagine if I had a normal life in the woods. Yeah, just like <laughs> in the woods, hidden. Yeah, slip yeah. away. It's possible. Buy some NFTs. Well, don't, yeah. Well, that's the bad investment <laughs> at the moment. <laughs> Awful idea. All right, in the last, woods. Last one. Most likely to secretly eat cat food. Oh, oh fuck. <laughs> who, who here has cats? I. I they cheered you. for it. Yeah. <laughs> I do have a cat. I you will say there has been times where you like bite? pop open the little can and you're like, yeah, but I don't even like, like, I don't like fish. I don't like tuna. I don't like regular human tuna. Yeah. So I don't think I would eat it unless it was like, I do feel like there was a moment there where people were eating dog food because of like the protein. It was, yeah, I did see that. It was yeah. like a trend I never did on it. TikTok. Yeah. Um, that's insane. Like, like dry dog food? Like dry dog food that it had a lot of protein, so they were eating it. Um, and then, but the guy who was doing it eventually was like, I, guys, don't do it. <laughs> don't fucking do yeah, it. Yeah, don't do it. I'm sick. I'm in the hospital. I'm like, I'm tough. We're slowly learning how Mariel got to be deadlifting 225 <laughs> right. Somehow pounds. it all makes puppy sense. Chow. 225. Right. I'm, just, I'm just still blown away by that. <laughs> I think my highest was 200 and that was like, I did three and I'm like, I'm done for two years now. No, oh, that's that great. It. Well, thanks for playing with that. That little, was that, that a was real fun. one? Yeah. Oh, wow. That was, <laughs> <laughs> was that the real last one? I had more, but I think okay, I okay. that was good. It was that's good. fun. Good choices. If you're looking for some new wall art, whether you're moving to a new place or you just want to refresh your current decor, Gallery Panda is definitely the way to go. Gallery Panda offers super high quality acrylic wall art and their standard 16 by 24 acrylic print will take any room to the next level. Plus, command strips come with every order for easy, damage-free hanging. In addition to all their artist collections, you could even customize your own prints. All you have to do is scroll down to the bottom of their website at gallerypanda.com to upload your custom design. We did some custom designs. Dun, dun, dun. Aren't they beautiful? We got the Always Open logo, the All Good No Worries logo. Just some examples of what you could do. You could do your own prints that you've made. Or if you wanted to represent our show, you could do one of those too. So go follow Gallery Panda on Instagram or go to gallerypanda.com to see some amazing art. And also don't forget to use our special promo code ALWAYS30 to get 30% off your order of large acrylic wall art for the first 50 people to check out. So go quickly. Normally, you could only get this good of a deal by finding them at places like New York Comic Con or RTX. But thanks to this promo code, you can get a Comic Con deal online. Enjoy. These are mine, though. So just, just for my knowledge, has anybody come prepared with a question they would like us to talk about? A, a question that they want advice about or anything like that? Show of hands, anyone bring a question? 
Yes. Thank okay. You. Awesome. Pa- fantastic. Three. So we actually have a special guest who's going to join us today. Oh, my! Fa- I'm a huge fan. Uh, I, I don't know if he's ready. We're, we're bringing him out a little early, but if we could get the one, the only, the therapy gecko. If he is right. There he is. Hey. What's up? Hey. 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 hey should I sit? I was prepared to stand on the table. No, okay. um, I think here's fine. What's up? This is cool. How you do- How you guys doing? Oh, we're good. How are you? How are you guys doing? Awesome. Do we have uh, some Therapy Gecko fans in the house? Woo! Hell yeah. Yeah. That's my guy. <laughs> That's your guy. You know him? Part of I me. do now. Oh, you do now. <laughs> I wanted to do a bit where I had all of us dress like a gecko. Yeah. And like have you come out dressed normally and see what would happen. I feel like... Um, Which one out of all of us would look better as a gecko? I can't answer that Be question. honest. I can't. I, you, I, I, say it's me. You would all, say it's me. You would all make wonderful geckos right, in your right. own special Thank way. You. Thank you. Yeah. We know. All right. Well, let's uh, let's get some <laughs> questions going that we could all uh, yeah. dive into and try to get... How, are you guys advice. doing good? We're doing great. Okay, good. Are you an actual therapist? No, I'm a crazy person. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I think that's the best. That's the opinions you want. Now you have my attention. Yeah, I've had, I have, I've gotten like DMs from real therapists being like, "Fuck, I could have just lied on the internet about doing this, and I went to school." And (laughs) I thought the therapist would DM you, being like, "Why did you say this?" <laughs> like, why'd you do this? Your advice Yo. is dangerous. Yeah, please don't, don't. stop. Saying I actually, that. I did have a, I had like a cup. I had one guy on Reddit who was like, "This is a very dangerous thing <laughs> that you're doing." R- really? <laughs> you give the disclaimer of, "I'm not a, you know, I'm not a licensed therapist." Yeah, I do. I do. I'm not a real therapist, but I am. I am a real gecko. Oh, okay. Yes. Good. Yeah. For sure. A, a lot of people around this convention think I'm like cosplaying as something. Like what? Like I made like Piccolo. Hello. What? But I want to. I just want to set the record straight. I am an original character. <laughs> yeah. Do you get confused for the Geico Gecko ever? Uh, I'm sure I'm like the 80th person that's made. No, this no, no. I. This is a misconception that me and him are like have the, the beef. Yeah. But he's a cool guy, okay. and I have a lot of respect for him and what he does. Well, maybe State Farm is looking for a, a gecko of their own. Who knows? They have. Uh, well, they are. They have that. They have that guy, Jake. Jake? Yeah. Love Jake. He's, He's a very cool, cool guy too. I'm friends with all the insurance mascots. <laughs> yeah. I'm even. I'm even friends with that with the f- the soldier guy, the general. Ah, who? Who? Uh, the general. And the Affleck, Affleck. Duck. Affleck. Oh, the what? duck. We all get brunch. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's a up, lot. Man, come up with ideas for like crazy type. Yeah, of wait. Insurance. No, let's actually. <laughs> yeah, why are you friends with all the insurance people? What does that say about you? The general was like, oh, we were at brunch, and the general was like, what if, what if we should do fucking skydiving insurance? Right, <laughs> right. <laughs> what if I'm like, excuse me? <laughs> there has to be skydiving insurance. There has to be those niche oh, insurances, there right? There should be, yeah. I don't know. Maybe it's personal health. All right, let's get those hands up. And we got some mics that we'll run over if we have mics. All right. All right, let's yes. see it. Hello there. Oh, yeah. What is your question? Sorry, I was blinded. Uh, Someone I, got dunked. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, is no. it? Yes, go, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Oh, hi. Oh, wait. We wait. We've got some confusion. We'll go up here first. You got, you got it. Okay. Whoever's standing up. <laughs> um, okay. So I'm only 21 and I just quit my firefighting job because I felt trapped and stressed and like the whole world was just being crowded around me. I was incredibly underpaid, making only $12 an hour. And I got paid by the call, not by the hour in most cases. And I just felt terrible. But right now I'm in a place where I'm working minimal wage at another job. And I'm just like terrified about what my future holds. So do you guys like have any advice about what next step should be, what I should do? Because if I go back to firefighting, I'm in a job that I don't want to be in. But if I don't go back to firefighting, I have nothing else under my belt to Mm. build a career off of. So Please help. <laughs> oh, wow. And you're only 21, you said. Yes. Wow. That's incredible to be a firefighter. I know. At yeah. 21, 21, right? I mean, you're like, you literally are that meme of that dog. You know what I'm talking got, about? I was certified when I was 18 in firefighting, hazmat, and water rescue. Huge. Oh, wow. That's incredible. That's incredible. I, this, I, not to be cheesy, but I hope whatever, regardless of whatever you do in the future, I hope you're proud of what you've already done. Yeah, yeah. definitely. 
Huge. That's huge. Yeah. That's awesome. Well, uh, what do you what do you like? What do you want to do if you could do anything? Not necessarily fire related. Yeah. Oh, did you take away the mic? I have so many follow up. I like follow up questions. Okay. Um, when I was in high school, I wanted to be a wildland firefighter. I wanted to move out to California and fight the big monsters. Because um, the biggest one on record happened when I was a senior. So I, I felt like that was where I wanted to be. I wanted to help people. Yeah. Backup career, I wanted to join the UFC. My dream ever since I was a child was to be a UFC fighter. That is so, so you cool. know, <laughs> bit opposite there, so. What? Do you want to practice right now? Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> I'll whip out the tail. I was going to volunteer Mary. Watch out for the tail. <laughs> Damn, you're a badass. Yeah, you want to fight fires or people. That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so. People on fire would be fight. the ultimate enemy. No. I, I think you need to start a new league, uh, a new fighting league. <laughs> Yeah. Where you fight people that are on fire. UFFC. UFFC. <laughs> UFFC is <laughs> amazing. That. Can I ask, like, what what stopped the move to California? Was it a money thing? It was money and it was also fear of being on my own. Um I'm I'm not really I'm not a sheltered kid, but I'm just like a shy kid. Like I like having help and I'm also scared of like growing up and like actually being an adult and doing an adult thing. So I'm just trying to, you know, actually be that person that I need to be because in today's modern day and age and economy, life is just kind of crappy. And if you don't grow up fast and if you don't make money fast, you're kind of just screwing yourself for life. So hmm. that's a lot of pressure on yourself. I feel, yeah. I, you, I, I feel you're not giving yourself enough credit. You're talking about you're like afraid to be in a You're a firefighter. Yeah. <laughs> You're doing it already. Mm -hmm. But not well, anymore. I was a firefighter. I, I kind of rage quit a few months ago. Yeah. So now you're, you said you're doing a part time job for minimum wage, you said, or like not a, 15, not, 15 an hour. Okay. I guess. okay. That's, and you're, you're just wondering like where to go in life and how to find like your passion. Yeah. Well, first of all, you're 21 <laughs> and I am going to tell you, you're not, you're not an adult yet. You're still a little <laughs> baby. Uh, and please don't put pressure on yourself to try to grow up fast. Saving is a good idea. I think we yeah. could all agree on that in terms yeah. of like find it as save as much as you can, as early as you can and try to invest if you can. That's a pretty daunting thing. But I think even putting away like 50 bucks a month, it grows and it's, mm -hmm. you know, it's a start. I, I don't do touch think my paycheck. What? I don't touch oh. it. I throw it right into my savings. I take, so like, smart. I take $50 uh, out of my paycheck for spending and that's it. Everything else goes straight into savings. Yeah. Okay. I think that's amazing. I do think that um, when you're younger, you are pressured to to have everything, you know, figured out and follow through with that for the rest of your life, which I think is, I mean, it's wild. Not everyone can figure out their passion at 21 or even later in life. I think like, I do think, you know, you're working minimum wage now. I think it, you should accept you don't want to be a firefighter. I think, you know, right now you're not, you're not passionate about it. And I would kind of actually get into hobbies and like actually do like figure out what you like to do, what you want to do. Um, and just now it's a perfect time to like experiment and kind of test it out and see what makes you feel good. I mean, you're not, you know, you're 21. You're not going to, you're not going to figure it out now. And you should take that time to figure it out and see what makes you feel good. Yeah. Yeah. I think, I mean, to add on to what yeah. you're saying, I think like, instead of like freaking out about, what am I going to do forever? Mm -hmm. It's like, what's just whatever's interesting to you right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, whether it's hobbies or fires or yeah. fighting or mm -hmm. yeah. firefighting, firefighting. Yeah. Yeah. As long as I'm fighting something, I mean, yeah, let's I go. Like, let's try, <laughs> let's start fighting things. Let's figure out which one you are passionate about fighting. Let's go. And also like take comfort knowing like no decision is permanent. Like if you, if you find a career path that you interests you and then later on five years from now, 10 years from now, realize I don't like this. I want to switch. That is fine as well. I mean, Meryl, you have a new career path now after yeah. working in one field for a bit. So it's like never too late to change. Yeah, no, definitely. I mean, I think a thing that I've noticed in my thirties very much is that like my twenties were for like fucking around and finding out and like <laughs> fucking up and trying new things. And then now that I'm 31, I feel much more like comfortable in who I am and what I'm doing. And I was someone who like had my dream job very, very early on. And then I just realized that like my dream is not to work. Um, so it was kind of like, oh, like no matter what I'm doing, like 
I'm never going to have that like full career satisfaction because that's not actually what is going to make me satisfied. Like I'm right. very satisfied in my like personal and home life. And that's like the most important thing that um, I've realized. But um, yeah, I mean, it's, it, I think like one of the things is, I think also like my parents and kind of like the older generations were very much like you had one job and you did that for 50 years and then you retired. Yeah. Um, whereas now I think people are much more into like job hopping and trying to figure out exactly like what they want to do. Um, and I think the best thing is like sometimes finding out exactly what you do want to do isn't what you want to do. And then like trying something new is very admirable yeah. um, and super scary. But yeah, I mean, you're 21. You're so young. You yeah. and I know that's like so. I feel like that's so fucking frustrating to hear too, though. Like, yeah, you're like no, <laughs> yeah, I'm because like a, at, I'm the, a full at adult. the time now, you're oh like yeah, you're like no, out, I'm, I'm a full but, adult. But like, gosh, I mean, yeah. You'll, yeah, at 21, I had no idea what I was doing. I still don't. Right, yeah. you never do, huh? Never do. Yeah, no, you never do. You just live, but like you learn to live with it. And you get like you find happiness outside of like trying to have this like fully like life fulfilling career i think yeah at least that's mm -hmm. what it's been like for me absolutely do you get did you get to slide down the pole <laughs> <laughs> no because that's actually kind of a misconception in modern day places not a lot of them have them anymore oh, which okay. is incredibly disappointing that's why you yeah, so thank much you for, fun. for educating me yeah no, because that's impressive. what i imagine yeah anytime I, like, I like to imagine that's why she quit Right. Like, I wasn't able yeah. to get on the board. Yeah. All right. Well, yeah. thank you so much for your question. Thank you, guys. Yeah, thank you. Good yeah, luck, best man. Best of luck. All right. We got you back there. Thank you for your patience. No, boys. <laughs> I need dating advice. Okay. I'm trying to find ladies who are mature and quiet and like don't party, don't do a lot of, you know, drinking, but I don't know how to find them without dating sites, which suck. Yeah. You got to get your dating sites and you got to put them to like 35 and older. 35 <laughs> and older. And also where, yeah, what location are you at? Because if you're in LA, that's a wrap. Not going to happen. Boston. You're Boston. Boston. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. I don't know Boston very well in terms of like Big the dating scene there. Can I ask what, what is it about the dating apps that you, that you hate? They always are trying to just hook up with me and I have no interest. Mm. Like, I'm I so sexy. You. I can't. People just flock to me. <laughs> well, I think there's a there's a truth to that where like the dating apps seem to be more for like a validation and uh, testing things out. Right. Yeah. Which one are you on? Because there's some of them are like for that. I've tried her because that way it cuts most of the men out of it. Oh, okay. I don't know about her. Yeah. <laughs> Every other site, even if I said to no men, I still get dick pics and I hate it. Oh, gosh. Uh, yeah. Right. Um, hmm. Yeah, I don't know about the Boston lesbian scene, but I heard a laugh. Um, I feel like it's probably, I mean, I don't know, but Boston's a big city. Like, I think of the, the population of Austin and there's like a pretty big queer community here. But then at the same time, it probably right. feels very small. I do think… I do think Boston would be a place where you could find someone who's a little more calm and like wants to settle down. I feel like a lot in the East Coast, maybe not Florida, but like, yeah. well, I, <laughs> I love the little laughs. Well, I just, I don't know. I feel like Florida is like, Florida. <laughs> so basically you're, you're looking for someone to be more serious with, but like, who's not a partier or a drinker and it's like a little more like low key, chill. Maybe into like some nerdy things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, similar I'm interests. a boring person. I need a fellow boring person. Okay. 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 Let me tell you a little story. Let's go back to July 2019. <laughs> Which we know very, very well. When I was trying to sow my oats, trying to spread my seed. Jesus Christ. <laughs> become what a, are you saying? Become a parent. Become a, you know. Where is this going? Have a couple kids with some unknown people. Um... I 100% was like so ready to like go out and meet people and go crazy and meet some like just party for like a solid year. And then I met my wife who at the time was going crazy, uh, partying, doing all these things. And now we have such a lovely life together that like, I guess my, what I'm trying to get here is like, don't be immediately turned off by someone who like, if you might like first impressions on apps, I feel like are very hard to read. Um, but I don't know. Sometimes it works out when you hook up with a crazy hottie. Yeah. <laughs> are you saying that like she could like find someone and like, 
fix them? No, well, no, no, no. Not well, fix like, them. Well, more so like, I'm more so like, I, I, what I'm assuming is like the dating phase is always going to have a little bit of like, we're going out, we're drinking, yeah, we're getting to, to know each out. other. I don't think it's the immediate settling down. Right. 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 Okay. Well, do you mind if I ask how old you are? I am 29. 29. Okay. So you're right in that age where it's like some people are looking to settle down. Some people are not. It's kind of like... May I a straight take a wild swing at this? Absolutely not. You have had your time. <laughs> I feel like if you maybe went to more like LGBT friendly events that were maybe like low key, like for example, I love in Los Angeles, the LA, the Angel City soccer games, which is a, I feel like you've been to them. I have. It's a women's, <laughs> so it's a women's soccer team in LA and they're all over the you country. Know. And it's like a really like super LGBT friendly crowd. And I feel like that's an environment where you might meet somebody where it's like, no, they're there to go to a soccer game, be home by eight. Like you might meet somebody chill. The environment. Yeah. So you're saying like the environment that you're in. Yeah. Maybe. Well, yeah. Maybe you'll be able to meet like minded. Not like Barbarella's. Not, not <laughs> Barbarella's. But also like I wouldn't necessarily discount dating apps completely. Yeah. Like I think. It's a lot of people are looking to hook up, but I think there are people looking to settle down. I mean, yeah. you're on a dating app and you're looking for that kind of relationship. But I'd yeah. say also like be upfront maybe in your profile of like what you're looking for, like not really interested in like drinking or partying, looking for someone more low key, like just like describe maybe the kind of person you're looking for. So if someone comes across your profile, they go, that's me. Woo. What, what about Barnes and Noble? That's a good one too. I don't think that, like, does yeah. that exist anymore? Yes. Barnes and Noble? Yes. I don't know. Or, bar, or like the idea of like the meat cute at Barnes and Noble. Yeah, be. maybe like, but. maybe both because I actually am trying to remember where I've seen Barnes and Nobles in a there, while. I feel like, when have I seen that? I feel like it's forever. They still, they're still, still exist. They're still, people yeah. don't, if you're trying to avoid like crazy party people, go, make, don't go to Borders. No. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, 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 That's yeah, wild. Yeah. Right. Um, yeah, let's get off of her. I think that's not a good app. Yeah. You know, I never was, I never got time on her. I just, I've heard bad stories about it. So I think like, maybe let's just not. Is it that. just like the swipe kind of thing? Yeah, I think it's just like, I, I mean, yeah, I guess like, I think it's like a regular dating app, but like people, every time someone says they're on her, I'm like, I hear red something. flag. Yeah, <laughs> red, red flag, honestly. <laughs> I also, yeah, I do think maybe also depending on the dates you want to go to, maybe like instead of being like, oh, let's, you know, go to a bar, well, maybe a coffee or a picnic. Yeah. Or a, what else? Barnes and Nobles. Barnes and Nobles. <laughs> Grocery Women's soccer game. Women's soccer game. Isn't there like a Boston Zoo? Well, I don't know. That's zoo. <laughs> that sounds right. That'd be kind of sick. Yeah, that'd be kind of sick. Yeah. Zoo date? Boston Zoo. <laughs> I don't know. No, that's you can sit right. and stare at one of the penguins until yeah, someone else until comes someone, I mean, yeah. do you, yeah. What's your comfort level of like maybe like striking up a conversation with somebody at a public thing, you know? Not bad. As long as the relax and not yeah. you know, pounding back shots. Yeah. <laughs> where are you where they're pounding back yeah. shots? With you during the pandemic. <laughs> right. Because well, I know why I was doing it. Why are you around people who want to do it? <laughs> I mean, I guess that is like, it's a pretty intimidating like club culture. Yeah. A lot of the time. Like. Where? Well, I mean like. Oh, like in general? Yeah. Like if, okay. like, if you're, you know, trying to be, if you're trying to meet like someone in a queer setting and usually it's probably at like a club, right? Like. Right. So I can, I do imagine how. Yeah, no, I, I see. Okay, I see what you're yeah. doing. Yeah, especially if you're not someone who's like, I don't really want to be here. Like, I don't really like going to bars or clubs or anything. But yeah. I did at one point in my life. Same. Yeah. I think, I think there's a there's a rave tonight, right? Are you going? God, no. You're not going to the rave? <laughs> I have a broken arm. No. Uh, <laughs> you only need one arm <laughs> to rave. You don't need both arms. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, it's true. I'm going to the rave. Hell yeah. I'm going to there. I'm showing up like this. Good. <laughs> Fiona, can you get me in? Can I get you in? Yeah. We'll talk about it. You'll be your right. plus one. <laughs> Maybe. Are you? I get two plus ones. Oh, do I'm, you? Oh, you're two people. Because I'm two people. Ah. That was that didn't make any sense. Are you no, gonna wear, it made perfect sense. Thank you. Are you going to wear this all weekend? Yeah, I'm going to sleep in this tonight. Oh, God. Yeah. What kind of paint do you use? Yeah, I was face? just going to ask, what's the process for painting your face? And is it your finger? Dude, one of these days, I've been like sleeping on this idea, but I really want to make a Gek Ready With Me video. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, like Gek Ready yeah. With Me to 
Yeah. Go to the arts. Get Mexico. ready. Uh, I use uh, anyone a fan of Marin? Woo! Maron? Yeah. About <laughs> Maron Paradise. Uh, light green. Use the code Gecko for. <laughs> oh, no, do you? Uh, oh, you're sponsored. I thought you no, were. That'd talking be oh, hilarious, that'd be, oh, though, right? That'd be, really that'd be sick. Cool. Maybe after a couple of Gek Ready with Me videos, I'll be on that. Uh, <laughs> I was trying to think of any. I was trying to think of any famous YouTube makeup person. <laughs> right, right, right. And, you, and you couldn't. Think of a single one. I I'm a huge fan of yours. I like watch your you, Twitch man. streams, and um, I think my favorite part of your your like costume is or who you are is um the face makeup because you're you're kind of awful at it like yeah. it's really patchy and yeah. it's great but i love i mean it's that's so part of the charm <laughs> it's and, so great. and you know what's funny is i've had so many people um try to give me advice right and i take none and i'm of like it. yeah you don't need it uh, this which is it you usually give the advice do, do you think that's part of it? Let's psychoanalyze yeah, this. May, yeah, maybe it's an ego <laughs> thing because people it. are like, you should use primer. I'm like, fuck you, yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah. You're like, you're like, people you are should like, use primer. Like, people are you? like, you get here to take it off. They're like, you got to use a toner and yeah, yeah, yeah. this thing. Guess what I use, dude? What? Soap and waters. I know I, it's... I dude, know like it's... a year ago, uh, Manscaped sent me like a bottle of shampoo. <laughs> I swear to God, I swear to God, that's what I used to take it all. <laughs> right, I of swear. course. And, yeah, and your skin's perfect. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, it actually great. is really good. Well, well, where can people find all of your stuff? Are you mostly on TikTok? Oh, I'm on a, I do a podcast. It's called Therapy Gecko. I, I talk to anonymous strangers on the phone about life. It's a lot of fun. You should yeah. check it out. Well, Ther we didn't get Therapy to your questions Gecko. today. Call into the show. Yeah, That'd call awesome. in. We'll talk about life. Well, thank you for joining us today. Oh, thanks for having me, man. This was fun. And also... Ladies, thank you, Elise, Fiona, Merrill. Thank you for joining thank us today on Absolutely. Thank you, thank you yeah. for having us. Absolutely. Thank you for having us. And thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you, guys. RTX 2023. Woo -woo! Let's go. Yay. You guys have a wonderful weekend. Enjoy the show. Have a great time. Take lots of pictures. We love you. Thank you for being here. Thank you guys for joining us thank on the show. Thank you, Barbara. Have a wonderful weekend. We'll see you Gek guys. Gek bless you all. Gek bless Oh, you. Gek bless. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching that episode of Always Open. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and see new episodes every Tuesday along with other shows every Thursday.